Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Tennis inspires art and soul in Milan. A very cool and unique new art exhibit places tennis in the heart of a historic 16th century church in Milan. Artist Assad Raza, a Buffalo, New York native and avid tennis player himself, created the interactive exhibit. Raza reimagines the church, a place of messages from higher authorities, into a space of two-way exchange and recreation. The former San Paolo Church of Milan was deconsecrated in 1808, renovated as a concert hall in the 1930s before it was repurposed as a recording studio between the 1960s and 1980s. The installation features a court, netting, balls, rackets, special scents created by the artist's sister, coaches, and Jasmine T. Frescoes depicting the life of Paul the Apostle adorn that church. Visitors to the exhibit, called Untitled Plot of Dialogue, are encouraged to be active participants rather than just passive viewers in the piece. To that end, visitors can play tennis with on-site coaches, play a match of their own, and absorb the art that emphasizes the importance of play and non-productive activities in a society focused on work. All right, at an age when a lot of his contemporaries have retired, it seems Roger Federer is revitalized. So we've been wondering, what is the secret to the 36-year-old's success? Well, Roger says it's very simple. Less is more, and we've heard that before. At the World Tour Finals in London, Roger told the media that he no longer spends his spare time pursuing his other sports passions, skiing, soccer, squash. He's investing his energy in tennis. Now that doesn't mean the Grand Slam King is kicking back as a couch potato. Keeping up with his four kids keeps him very active between tournaments. But go easy on me, okay? Of course, of course, I'm a gentleman, you know. All right. All right, are we ready, Lindsay? I'm ready, Roger, bring it. All right. Oh! Oh! Come on, I thought you were a gentleman. No, I'm the winner. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Switzerland, by the yeah. way. <laughs> More than 100,000 fans attended the first four days of the ATP World Tour Finals at the O2 Arena in London. Now, to give you an idea of the massive size of this venue, if the O2 were ever turned upside down, it would take Niagara Falls 15 minutes to fill it. To put that another way, it would take a million pints of beer or 13 Royal Albert Halls or two Wembley stadiums to fill the O2 Arena. Okay, we get it, it's big. Tennis Now has been on hand throughout that tournament and you can check out our daily reports on the Tennis Now website. Here's how the players shared their London experiences on social media. Andy Murray joined Dominic team and his coaching team. Alexander Zarev made waves hanging out with doubles world number one Marcelo Melo on the boat ride to the arena. Older brother Misha Zarev gave us this view of a very young Sasha with this caption. Roger Federer, who reached the semis for the 14th time in 15 World Tour Finals appearances, shared a throwback photo with coach Ivan Lubacic from his playing days. Jack Sock and his girlfriend shared some bonding time. And the Bryan brothers scaled the top of the O2 arena to give us this view. Christina Mladenovic, who's been at the O2 all week supporting Dominic team, shared this shot of the iconic London Eye. And that's it for this time, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.